China's state-owned shipbuilder has unveiled the design for the world's first and largest nuclear-powered container ship. If realized, the ship's length alone would be about 70 meters longer than the world's largest nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the United States. The design was announced in a situation where China is focusing on strengthening its aircraft carrier power, attracting more attention to the background. The Chinese Communist Party's official newspaper, Global Times, and local shipbuilding specialist media, China Ship News, reported on the 6th that the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, CSSC, officially announced the ship-type design of a 24,000 TEU nuclear power propulsion container ship at the Marintech China 2023 Feet Marine Exhibition, which opened in Shanghai on the 5th. 24,000 TEU refers to a ship that can carry 24,000 large containers at the same time. The largest scale among the container ships currently traveling between Korea and Europe is this 24,000 TEU. The ship length alone reaches 400 meters, which is literally the world's largest existing ship. Container ships were mostly diesel engines, but the situation has changed as an eco-friendly atmosphere is created on the sea. After going through a diesel propulsion ship equipped with a desulfurization facility, recently, a natural gas propulsion ship is becoming a new trend. Korean shipbuilders have the most advanced technology in the field of natural gas propulsion container ships and oil tankers. The nuclear propulsion container ship design that China unveiled this time is a concept that attaches a fourth-generation molten salt reactor to a container ship and turns a steam turbine to move the ship forward. There is virtually no exhaust gas. Excluding nuclear waste problems, it can be said to be a completely eco-friendly ship. China continues to include nuclear power in the field of eco-friendly power generation even as the global net zero, zero carbon emissions, concept is being concretized. Although it is a design, the unusual idea of attaching a reactor to a container ship was possible because it was China. However, the reality of a nuclear propulsion container ship is low considering the general standards of shipbuilding and chartering markets. A shipbuilding industry official said, if a reactor is installed on a merchant ship, the shipbuilding cost will astronomically increase, and even if it is built and launched, additional costs will inevitably occur every time it moves because various operating methods are different from global standards. Therefore, there is an interpretation in and out of China that this nuclear propulsion container design can be used for other purposes. The aircraft carrier power of China, which started with the purchase of an old aircraft carrier of the Ukrainian Navy, which was just before scrap processing, has now become so powerful that it operates two aircraft carrier fleets led by Liaoning and Shandong, respectively. Although it still doesn't match the United States, unlike the United States, which has to take care of the seas of the world, China only needs to take care of the South China Sea. It is rated that the difference in aircraft carrier power with the United States is not large in terms of locality. In addition, the third aircraft carrier, Fujian, was launched in June. It is equipped with various combat equipment and will be delivered to the Chinese Navy in 2025. It is said that China's third aircraft carrier fleet is floating, and if this happens, China will have a powerful navy that cannot find a match in East Asia. The Achilles heel of the Chinese Navy is the nuclear propulsion aircraft carrier technology. The third aircraft carrier, Fujian, also moves with a diesel engine. A lot of fuel needs to be supplied separately. Long-range operations are difficult. Especially, China has installed three advanced electronic catapults on the deck of Fujian to push the fighter strongly and quickly sortie. This eats up energy every time. If it is a nuclear propulsion aircraft carrier, the power is sufficient, so it is easy to operate about three catapults, but a diesel aircraft carrier needs to carry separate fuel to turn the generator for the catapult. From the standpoint of the Chinese Navy, after securing the catapult operation technology through Fujian, it must immediately enter the construction of a nuclear propulsion aircraft carrier in order to continue technological advancement. In fact, it is known that China has planned to enter the construction of a nuclear propulsion aircraft carrier as early as 2025. The total length of the Gerald Ford-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the world's largest currently owned by the United States, is about 330 meters. The design that China unveiled this time is a technology that can quickly move a ship with a 400 meters hull, which is larger than Gerald Ford, with a nuclear propulsion engine and fully loaded with 24,000 containers. It is a concept that is difficult to apply realistically to a merchant ship, and if it is not a merchant ship, the area that can be applied is virtually determined. Meanwhile, the U.S. think tank Strategic Budget Assessment Center, 
CSBA, predicted in a previous report on China's future defense power that, by 2031, the Chinese Navy's aircraft carrier will increase from the current three ships, one ship is in the water stage, to five ships, and the strategic nuclear submarine, SSBN, capable of launching ballistic missiles will increase from the current six ships to ten ships.